What's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. Gunna, aka top five rapper right now in the industry, dropped off his new album today. And let me tell you right now, this shit is fire! DS forever. I'm telling you, like I have gradually become a bigger and bigger Gunna fan. It start like honestly, the first time I ever heard him was on the Young Thug song Floyd Mayweather. I was like, man, who is this Gunna guy? He's fire. Even though he did put out a mixtape back in like 2013 um, as Young Gunna, but I never heard of him back then. But I heard him on that Floyd Mayweather song. I'm like, this dude's fire. So I started checking for his stuff. You know, drip season, blah 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 blah. And he's gradually gotten better and better. In 2020, when he put out um, Wanna, I was blown away. So basically in this video, I wanna do a sales prediction, sales projection on what I think his new one is gonna sell in the first week. Um, but man, Gunna, Gunna is so, so damn fire. Now, I did notice that he was supposed to have a Drake feature, right? And it was on the track list that he put out a couple days before it released. Released last night slash today, no Drake feature. There's a couple of reasons why that could be. We don't really have to get into it. I mean, but I'll just say the same thing happened to French Montana. He was supposed to have a Drake feature, didn't come out. I don't know if it still has to do with the Astro World situation that Drake's not really wanting to sign off on features right now, or it might have been more of a label situation because obviously Drake recorded the song, so I don't know. We won't get too deep into that, but that is going to affect his sales a little bit. But here's the thing for me, okay? I'm kind of glad it's not on the album why because i mean i'm just not a drake fan like that okay i get he's a huge artist and i know it would help gunna gunna sales so for that aspect of it i think it would be cool to be on here on this album but the fact it's not on the album it doesn't affect me as as a fan as a listener whatsoever i i really don't care like the album is still fire matter of fact it's probably more fire like usually when when drake comes on an album it's 50-50, it's hit or miss. Like some of his guest features are really fire, others are not so fire. So a lot of times he'll come on, I'll just skip the song. So it really doesn't affect me, but it is gonna affect his sales a little bit. But he's still got Little Baby, Young Thug, you know, 21 Savage, a bunch of the who's who of the industry. Um, so he's still gonna sell well. Is it going to outsell Wanna? The answer to that question is definitely not. It's not going to. And you're, and you're probably asking yourself, why? Why Chase is not gonna uh, sell, it should sell more than one, I think. It's better. It doesn't matter if it's better or not. The reason it's not gonna outsell Wanna is because Wanna came out in 2020 when you were still able to sell clothing bundles, CDs, album, um, records, you know, big records that people collect. And you could literally ship it out six months from now and it would still count for the first week sales. They got rid of that, Billboard got rid of that rule. So without that rule in place, it's much harder to sell units. Case in point, Roddy Rich dropped, who's also on this album as well. He dropped a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. His first week sales dipped at 64,000 in the first week. No bundles. The previous one he had before that, Antisocial, 100,000. So you're seeing it all over the place. Trippy Red, who dropped an album a few months ago, Miss the Rage or whatever it was called, I forgot the name of the album doesn't matter. He only sold 80 something thousand. People were expecting him to do over 100,000. He didn't do it. And he had a Drake feature on his album. Um, having said that, I mean, I like Gunna way more than Trippy Red. I think he's a better artist. I think he makes more, he's way more consistent for sure. So, he's still gonna sell good, I think. I feel like his fans are gonna come out for this, but it, it's, kinda, it's kinda sad because one went number one. So as a Gunna fan, a lot of people are going to be disappointed that he's not going to go number one this time because the weekend dropped today too. He's definitely not going to beat the weekend. There's no possible way. Just get out of your head. So he's probably going to debut at number two or number three on the charts, depending on how Adele does this week. But it'll be top three. So um, I think it's honestly going to sell around the same as Roddy Rich. Uh, minimum, minimum, okay? I think 60 to 65K, that's the, that's the floor, right? Now the ceiling... I think he has the potential, depending on midweek theatrics, and what I mean by mid th midweek theatrics is, maybe they drop a deluxe in the middle of the week, maybe they put the Drake feature out in the middle of the week. Depending on midweek theatrics, he could get up to 90K. Young Thug recently dropped his album. 
a few months ago. Same label, everything. They're about the same level as an artist. Some people think Gun is a little bigger. Some people think Young Thug's a little bigger, but they're right around the same. And Young Thug sold 90K in the first week. That's without bundles or anything like that. So I think the potential is there. I mean, Gunna did sell 90K on uh, his first album. So I think it's very possible he matches that, gets around 80 to 90. But I, I truly think that 90K is the ceiling and 60 to 65 is the bottom floor. The only way he's going to hit 100,000 this week is if they literally pull a nav and drop a deluxe in the middle of the week that is the same amount of tracks as the original or around, around the same. Like let's say they, in two days, they said, oh, Deluxe is out, and they add like 15 or 17 more new tracks. Then he's gonna go over 100,000. So if they wanna go all out and they have the songs in the canon ready to go, that's the only way he's gonna break six figures. Other other than that, we're looking about 60, 65 is a, is a good barometer, up to maybe 90K, depending on what they do. But I truly think it's probably not gonna get over 75. But it really depends on, on how the team does things in the middle of the week. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give me a like. Let me know in the comments. What do you think he's going to sell in the first week? And I'll talk to you guys later.